Dear audience, welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news spice locally, regionally, and internationally. With today's news analysis, I am Miron Gitarchovsky with us. The agreement between the US and China to stabilize tense relations. China and the United States agreed on Monday to stabilize their intense rivalry so it does not veer into conflict, but failed to produce any major breakthrough during a rare visit to Beijing by the U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Chinese President Xi Jinping welcomed progress after shaking hands with Blinken at the Great Hall of the People, a grand venue usually reserved for greeting heads of state. The top U.S. diplomat and Xi both trust the importance of having a more stable relationship as any conflict between the world's two largest economies would create global disruption. China refused to entertain Washington's speed to resume military-to-military communication channel, citing U.S. sanctions as the obstacle. The two sides appeared interested in their positions over everything from Taiwan to trade, including U.S. actions towards China's cheap industry, human rights, and Russia's war against Ukraine. U.S. President Joe Biden said later on Monday he thinks relations between the two countries are on the right path and indicated that progress was made during Blinken's trip. We're on the right trail here, Biden said of U.S.-China relations. Asked by reporters during a trip to California whether he left progress had been made, he replied, I don't feel, he said. You know what's been made, Biden said of Blinken. He did a hell of job. At one of the most significant U.S.-China exchange since Biden took office, it was not clear how the countries would overcome their differences. The sides agreed to continue diplomatic engagement with more visits in the coming weeks and months. Achieved objectives. At a news conference, concluding his two-day trip to Beijing, the first by U.S. Secretary of State since 2018, Blinken said, Washington had achieved its objectives for the trip, including raising concerns directly, trying to set up channels for dialogue and exploring areas of cooperation. The trip was postponed in February after a suspected Chinese spy balloon flew through U.S. airspace. But he said progress was not straightforward. The relationship was a point of intensivity and both sides recognized the need to work to stabilize it, Blinken said before leaving China. But progress is hard. It takes time and it's not the product of one visit, one trip, one conversation. My hope and expectation is we will have better communications, better engagement going forward. U.S. officials had been playing down the prospect of major breakthrough but hoped Blinken's visit would pave the way for more bilateral meetings, including possible trips by Treasury Secretary Johnny Yellen and Commerce Secretary Jonathan Raymond. It has been hoped that it would even pave the way for a summit between Xi and Biden later in this year. Biden and Xi let's meet on sidelines of the G20 summit in Indonesia in November, pledging more frequent communication, although ties have since deteriorated. The two sides have also made progress and reached the agreement on some specific issues. This is very good, she told Blinken on Monday across a long table adored with pink flowers. Blinken responded by saying the two countries have a responsibility to manage their relationship. His meetings in Beijing, including talks with China's top diplomat Wang Ge and Foreign Minister Qin Gang, had been candid and constructive, Blinken added. It was not clear from Xi's remark what progress he was referring to, although he told Blinken that China hopes to see a sound and steady China-U.S. relationship and believes that the countries can overcome various difficulties according to a Chinese readout of the talks. Xi also urged Washington not to hurt China's legitimate right and interest, a sign of potential flashpoints such as Taiwan, the democratic Iceland Beijing claims at its own. Blinken said he made clear the United United States needs much greater cooperation from China on steaming the flow of fentanyl inside Agri to set up a working group on the matter. Taiwan core issue. The lack of open communication channels between the two countries has promoted international jitters and Beijing's reluctance to engage in regular military-to-military talks, which rush with Washington has alarmed China's neighbors. Speaking to reporters after the talks, senior foreign minister official Yang To said U.S. sanctions were blocking progress on improving military-to-military communications. Chinese Defense Minister Li Changfu has been sanctioned since 2018 over 
the purchase of combat aircraft and equipment from Russia's main arms, Rosborn Export. Asked what specific progress the two sides had made, Young said they had agreement to prevent a downward spiral in relations. The official added that China Foreign Minister Chin had accepted Blinken's request to visit the United States. Xi comments and the diplomatic choreography of the visit appeared to signal a will to make progress, analysts say. China's messaging has been pretty positive, said Wu Jim, a professor and director at the Center for American Studies at Fundal University in Shanghai. China showed that it still hopes to work with the U.S. to stabilize and improve relations. I think that while China is not opposed about China-U.S. relations, it has not given up hope either. Bedding stone on Taiwan was particularly pointed throughout Blinken's visit. China has no room for compromise or concession, said Wang, according to the Chinese readout. The United States has long stuck to policy of strategic ambiguity over whether it would respond military to an attack on Taiwan which Beijing has refused to rule out. And this was our news analysis for the day. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.